Hi, Mayor Mishiba here with owner operator uh, Gene Fowler, owner of Lugaroo. Uh, Gene, tell us a little bit about y your operation here in these days. Oh, it's just a bunch of guys getting fat, making cartoons and games, really. So you concentrate on uh, animation and, and uh, games, and of course maybe some applications for iPhone, use and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, we make uh, flash browser games. Uh, we make games for stadiums and arenas. We make uh, games for the iPod, Android, and um, focus on animation for television. So do you have the same sort of projects that you had with, uh, say, Fat Cat? Oh, a lot of the same projects, but we're more into the new media now because that's where the eyeballs are. Sure. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, um, there's probably a lot of people chasing the same piece of pie with, with this sort of stuff. It's very cutting edge, and it's very uh, on the line all the time in terms of production and, and getting things out there, trying to find people, trying to find products that interest people in, uh, in, in, in those areas probably is, is challenging. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, there, there's a lot of competition for games out there, so we have to make sure that ours are cutting edge, lots of fun. Mm -hmm. We try to just focus on our, our sense of humor and uh, and put that into our games, sure. um, and just make the art as cool as possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, tell us a, a bit about uh, Gene Fowler in terms of uh, 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 your animation studies and and, and on to, to, to Fat Cat and now Lou Grew. Just a a little bit about your history here at Lugaroo. All right. Well, uh, I graduated at MBCC Miramichi in 1998 and uh, started a business right away, but I couldn't get any uh, any clients because I didn't have any experience. So uh, I took the next job that came along, and uh, that was an offer uh, to work at Funbag in um, at their new studio, Helix, in Halifax. So I worked there for about eight months and didn't like the industry so much. Decided I could do it better. Started a Fat Cat, got a job making flash animated interactive uh, training films for Fortune 500 companies. And uh, we had clients like Nike and Hasbro, and just one big client, really, that just brought us all these others. Um, that shop closed down in 2003 and moved home, decided to uh, concentrate on entertainment rather than me learning, and uh, started Fat Cat. And we worked on television shows like uh, Family Guy and Skunk Fu and Caillou and Carl Square and all these sort of things. Happy Tree Friends. It was a good run, really good run. And then uh, in 2007, the world kind of changed and uh, um, advertisers stopped advertisers uh, advertising and broadcasters stopped commissioning shows, which means no business for us. So I mean, despite other other things, but uh, it took about three minutes to catch my breath and start a Lugaroo for the focus again on television animation, but also into into the space of gaming and what have you. And it, it happened very quickly. The the uh, transition and uh, and, and, and the pace is very fast, and, and, and you have to be able to, to stay with it in, in, in this industry alone. Eh? Oh, yeah, well, it's the only thing I know how to do. So how many employees are you carrying right now, Gene? Uh, we have a handful of full-timers, and then the rest are all contractors, and that's kind of what the okay. differentiates us from Fat Cat. Fat Cat had 120 full-time employees. We are mostly contractors. Okay. And, uh, but most of the guys that are here are, are, are Canadians, and um, they're from... Atlantic Canada. Where, where do you find, like, uh, across the world, like, f for hot spots in terms of animation studios? Uh, Canada's super hot right now, yeah. and they always have been. Uh, Canada's the animation nation for sure. Ottawa, Toronto, uh, Vancouver, and Montreal are hot spots for animation. But Singapore, of course, and the UK, uh, the United States, especially on the West Coast. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Hi, Mary I'm talking to Brad here at uh, Lugaru. Brad's uh, designing a, a game right now, I believe. Yep, it's uh, called 401 Fury. It's a racing, top-down racing game that uh, we've been developing here. So where is this game, uh, like what market are you producing this game for? Uh, anybody that likes uh, top-down racers. Uh, right now it's going to be on the computer, but we're looking to export it for mobile devices as well. Awesome stuff. Yeah. How long would it take to develop this sort of game? Uh, right now I think it's taken us about uh, five days to do this. Okay, awesome. So... Uh, how do you start marketing this sort of thing and, and uh, selling it? Uh, basically, we just uh, develop it, throw it up on the web, and uh, put it up for people to start bidding on. Oh, cool. Purchase and yeah, hopefully buy. Okay. So it's, it is an online industry, absolutely, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much, Brad. Uh, no problem. Thank you. You're a pretty handsome guy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Hi, Mary Mishim here talking to Melanie. Uh, she's working on an animation project here, obviously. What sort of project is uh, this? Uh, this is a kid's show for three to five-year-olds. Okay. And uh, it's, it's a small segment within a show that, that'll be live action. And it's in French. 
So we're basically right now just going through the designs and the backgrounds, picking what kind of style they're going to be using, and testing out line quality and things like that. So what sort of hardware is this now? This is this is you, you can actually draw on uh, the uh, TV screen here, the, the, the monitor. Yeah, this is a Cintiq tablet. It's like uh, the biggest one they have. It's made especially to draw on. Like usually you'd get a tablet that you put on the on the table and you draw and you see it happen on your screen. But this one is special in that you can draw right on the screen. So the pen registers on the screen here. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Here's the pen. I love trying new things. It's awesome. There you go, Frank. Peace. I love you, man. Thank you very much. And, and you know, Mary Shears are uh, always pretty persistent in, uh, in things that they, they wish to do. And uh, we're just glad that you, you know, really kept up this industry here on, on the uh, Mary Machine. And actually just kept it here and kept yourself here because we, we just love you so god darn much. <laughs> well, thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Well, I appreciate it. We're, we're uh, trying to put a lot of people to work and, uh, and just trying to keep the, this... Uh, this industry thriving in Miramichi and in New Brunswick for as long as we can. The Blue Guru right here in Miramichi, New Brunswick. Give her, you're on the river. Give her, you're on the river. The place I call home. Give her, you're on the river. Give her.